Hi guys, I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. Is it just me or do you guys actually miss retail therapy? Honestly, there were so many days during the lockdown where I actually just wanted to spend money, feel good again and actually just do some retail therapy. But I couldn't do that. I couldn't walk into any of the stores because everything was on a lockdown. But luckily, now in Toronto, all the stores are open. Hence, this weekend, I actually went to IKEA to buy some stuff. But that was the worst thing I did. I was in line for two hours before I could actually even enter the store. And I should have expected that because I'm sure there are so many people who are going there to return or exchange things that they had purchased before the lockdown. Or there are just people who are there to buy things because the weather's good, it's summertime, and people are actually redecorating their homes. And I went there mainly for that, as I had mentioned in my previous video, where I'm just trying to make this house feel more like a home. And I wanted to show you all the things that I purchased. I'm super excited to do that. But before we dive right into the video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my YouTube family since I'm uploading new videos every single week. So the first thing that I purchased was this rug. I absolutely love it. It's like an olive green and like a light blue and like a teal color. And this was $30. I feel like this rug will make the space a lot more prettier and brighter and I will be shooting a balcony makeover video very soon so if you are interested in that stay tuned to my channel hit the subscribe button so you should get a notification when I upload that video the next thing that I purchased was two cushion covers and I got them in this teal color I feel like this would work very well with the color of the rug I think this should match very well and it should make the space a lot more brighter and since we have two chairs outside I feel like it looked better and more comfortable as well and obviously for the cushion covers I needed fillers as well so I purchased two fillers and these were five dollars each so the next set of items that I purchased was to light up the space and obviously I had to buy fairy lights so I purchased this box and it was fifteen dollars it has 24 lights which is perfect and it can be used indoors as well as outdoors and I also bought this lantern it's a white colored lantern which is gonna look really good hopefully this works because this is so solar LED operated so the thing is that I don't get any sunlight in my balcony and I'm not sure how this works but I'm really hoping that this really works out because I love how it looks and I also got two lanterns so I got this tiny black one that I want to put on the table and this has a tiny um, section to put a tea light in so I also purchased a bunch of tea lights I bought these tea lights and they're $4 each and there are 30 of these in this pack and they smell so good. It's a vanilla scented candle and I'm super excited to use these. I also purchased another lantern. Now this is a big one. This is something I would put on the ground. I think it looks so pretty. I'm super excited to set this up. And inside the lantern I wanted to put a candle but I wasn't sure if I should put a real one or not. So I did get a fake one and I absolutely love how this looks. And this is battery operated as well. So yeah, these are the things that I purchased for my balcony and I'm really looking forward to set everything up and I hope all of this looks really pretty. I purchased so many fake plants. Honestly, this girl cannot keep a real plant alive even if it was to save her life. I am obsessed with fake plants. I bought so many of them. So let me show them to you first. Um, I bought this stem. This was really good. I love how it looks so realistic. The leaves, the branches, everything looks very real. And this was $7 each, so I bought two of these. I also purchased this tiny little plant, and I love how this looks. So this one was $5, and this looks really good as well, so I bought two of these. I'm um, here, there's, here's another one. I'm gonna put this in um, my bedroom and one in my living room. And in my living room, most of the furniture and everything is around the beige uh, color scheme. So I purchased this jute vase for that. So basically, I'm gonna put this plant in here. And it looks so good. And I also purchased this tiny little plant which has a vine hanging off of it. And this is uh, something I'm gonna put in the bathroom because I have a few shelves. I'm gonna put this um, hanging on top of that. And since my bathroom is mainly white in color, I purchased this uh, vase as well, which was also $5. And yeah, basically this plant is gonna go in here. And it's gonna be like this on my shelf. So this is gonna look really good. I'm super excited for this as well. And I also bought a bunch of succulents. I bought six of them. So it came in a pack of 
three so I bought two packs and I love how this looks it looks pretty realistic as well and I also purchased this plant which is right behind me now this plant is gonna be in most of my videos it looks so good as a background and it also looks really good in my living room as well although this plant was pretty expensive I just love how it looked and it just makes the space look so much prettier the only thing is that the vase is not that pretty so I didn't end up buying a vase as well now this is also going to be in my living room so I wanted to match it with this uh, vase that I got for this plant and I purchased this big one which was $20 now this was also pretty expensive but I just love how it looked it works very well with the space that I have so yeah these are all the plants that I purchased the final category is just a few things that I actually needed and some things which were on sale and the first thing that I purchased was a toilet bowl cleaner I would have just purchased one from a dollar store which would have been much cheaper but I found this one at Ikea this was a little expensive but I love how this looks and as I mentioned earlier my bathroom is all white and the decor and everything is all white so I wanted to just buy something which looks good as well and I love how it looks so minimal and sleek so yeah this is why I purchased this the second thing that I purchased was a corkscrew board and I upcycled it so the one that I found at Ikea was $8 but I made it look so good and if you've not watched the DIY process make sure you click on the link right here to watch it later and I also purchased this frame which was $5 I also DIY that in the very same video so make sure you watch that video to see how I made it look so much more prettier than it actually is the last three things that I purchased are for a DIY project so I got this jute mat, it looks really good and I'm super excited to upcycle this into like a wall art or a decor piece. And the next thing that I got was this drawer liner. This looks really good, the color is stunning and it also has a felt lining in the back. And this was only $2 so I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do with it but it, since it was so cheap that's why I just purchased it. And finally I got some coasters. Um, I got three different sets. I'm super excited to upcycle these as well. So that's it for all the items that I purchased from IKEA. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will link all of these products down in the description box below, so make sure to check them out. And I'll be back with a new video next week, so stay tuned for that. Until then, take care of yourself and you'll see me very soon. Bye!